Hi friends, thanks for joining the demo session. About myself, my name is Pavan and I'm having around 14 years of experience in Cognos. In this demo, we'll see that what is transformers and multi-dimensional analysis and we'll create a small simple transformer cube. So basically a transformer is a Cognos component used to define OLAP cube structure and data and to build the multi-dimensional analysis cubes called power cubes. A power cube is nothing but it contains calculated summarized data organized into dimensions and measures and can be viewed and analyzed in Analysis Studio or Power Play Explorer. Power cubes provide secure and fast data access. To keep in mind that Cognos cubes are static and building a power cube is a repetitive process. That means uh, like a cubes can be refreshed uh, every day, uh, every month, what once in a year, sometimes every hour also. So if you talk about the features of the power cube, it's advanced modeling capabilities, integration of query data into the model. The model are defined by dimension structures and measures which can be easily customized. No custom programming required for this. Time periods are handled in a specific way which makes data delivery easy. High flexibility and portability. Now let's see how we can create a small cube with our, with our transformer. I'll go to the transformers. Transformers. Right click and open a transformer. A transformer is opening. So what all required to create a transformer? What's the development process? To create a transformer, first of all, you need to gather the business users' requirements, what exactly they needed, what sort of a cube they require, and what are dimensions and levels, selecting the measures, design and development, and everything. Now, let's start. I create a new model. I'll be creating a sales transformer. I'll say that sales reporting model. I'm just giving a name. You can give whatever the name you want. And what sort of source you want to take. Whether you want to take a report, a Cognos report or the Cognos package. Or you want to a CSV Excel file or, or a CSV file. And select, I'm selecting the package. Click next. Oh, it's asking about the authentication. You need to enter the authentication. The consumer role people will not be having access to this transformer. So, at least the person should have admin role or author role or any other except the, except the consumer. Now, I'm going to select Go Sales Query. Click Next. Is the framework. Now, in the sales, I'll be selecting some of the measures, one, two, three, or something. And after that, I'll be just taking the products, product line, product type, and product, add the products. If you care, you can take as uh, employee or date dimension, whatever you like. I'm taking a simple a cube. After adding the required fields, you can preview the data. Or you can see the SQL, what exactly the SQL is built. And after that, it's reading, it's reading and fetching the data from the database. It checks the okay. Now the now you got the data and after that click OK. Now I, I strongly recommend not to use this auto design 
because sometimes the results may not be expected. Now finish it. Do you want to add a new query? I said, no, I don't want to use another query. This is called a data source where a data, where these are the columns which you are going to use in the cube. Now we have a dimensional map, measured power cubes and the custom views. So I'm going to categorize the things. The first thing is the measures, what all measures I'm having. And after that, I'll add the date dimension over here. When you add a date dimension, then it it has a year, quarter, month by default you'll be getting. If you want to have a separate columns, then you can add an insert level of a week as well as a day. Now, a next dimension, insert a new dimension, which I'm seeing this products. Now, I'll be taking as a regular dimension. Click OK. Now, in the products, I'll add the product line, product type. Just drag the product type and the product. Now, I have a date dimension and I have a product dimension and the measures. Now, this is enough to create a cube. To create a cube, at least one measure you should have and two dimensions at least. Now, I'm going to insert a power cube. The cube name, I'm, I'm giving the cube name X sales reporting cube click ok now a cube is a model name a cube name is given now I'm, I want to create that cube because this cube contains this it's an empty cube and if I create a cube that means the all letter it will fetch from the data warehouse and it will load the data into a cube now is a cube is like a container now which holds this particular structure and loads the data. Now the data is reading the source data and loading the source data. It's updating the cube created successfully. Now publish the cube. Publish the cube. Now I'm going to give the same name. So now the cube is created and now it's going to publish and after that I'm going to see the data what's exactly the data now the transformer data source as well as the package has been created now it's published and after that I'll go to the Cognos connection and go to the analysis studio the Cognos page I'm going to authenticate with my user ID I'm basically I'm an admin of course any report or the, or the end user can create this. I'm going to launch Analysis Studio. Click on the Launch Analysis Studio. I'm going to select the package which I'm you, uh, just now published. You can see here the package just now published is Seals Reporting Cube. This Sorry. Okay, now select the sales reporting cube. Take the blank. Now, the cube a date parameter. Now you can see the date. What's the date is present? I'm going to add the products and the measure which I require. Just drag it. Now you can see the data. Now I want to drill down the camp and equipment and the cooking care. I can see the data. It's the data. It's a leaf level data. Right click and drill up and as well as uh, you have a, a date dimension where you can drill Q1 quarter and after the month in this way. Thanks for joining this session. Thank you.